in this video we'll be discussing about the breast cancer is the cancer that develops from the breast tissue if we see some internal structural parts of breast first we have the lobules these are the glandular tissues that produces milk and in case of breast cancer cells grow abnormally in lobules and grows into cancer here in this diagram we can see the structures in the breast showing lobules terminal duct lobular strom lactiferous sinus and man duct and second important structure are the ducts mostly cells from the lining of milk ducts grows abnormally leading to cancer then we have floridis tumor these floridis tumors are the breast tumors that start in the connective tissue of the breast as in lobular strom and when we get the tumor in the man ducts and lactiferous sinus near the opening of ducts we get the paget's disease of breasts now let's classify the cancers into the various subtypes like first of all we have the histological subtypes of cancer that we can classify into non invasive and invasive types the non invasive is confined by basement membrane and do not invade into stroma or lymphovascular channels means this tumor is contained inside milk ducts or in lobules whereas the invasive one invades the surrounding tissue or the other parts of breast Then we see non-invasive has further types like ductal carcinoma in situ (DCIS) as shown in the diagram, where we see how cells abnormally grow inside the ducts. Then there is lobular carcinoma in situ (LCIS) as shown in the diagram. Here we have the cross section of lobules, which shows abnormal mass of growing cells within the lobules. And now looking into invasive subtypes, we have got invasive ductal carcinoma (that's NST). That's no special type. where we can see how cells separate out of the duct and invade surrounding tissue also the difference between non invasive ductal carcinoma and invasive one has been shown in the diagram also moving towards the second type that's invasive lobular carcinoma third one is medullary carcinoma fourth one is colloid carcinoma and fifth one is tubular carcinoma now let's get to the surrogate intrinsic subtype of cancers These subtypes are based on histology and immunochemistry of key proteins like ER estrogen receptor, PR progesterone receptor, HER2 that's human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 and KI67. On the basis of these hormone receptor proteins, we have got hormone receptor ER negative, PR negative and HER2 negative that produces triple negative cancers. and these cancers have high ki67 index with nst histology second is the hormone receptor er negative pr negative and her2 positive that produces her2 positive cancers where we find her2 over expression and this cancer is non luminal and third one is hormone receptor er positive and pr positive which are further divided into two categories that's her2 negative and her2 positive The HER2 negative has low KI67 index, whereas HER2 positive has high KI67 index, and we see this HER2 negative makes us the luminal A cancer type, and HER2 positive makes us the luminal B cancer type, and this concludes the major classification of breast cancers showing both histological and molecular types. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me on Patreon or YouTube, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.